good morning what's up so i want to discuss some really interesting video what i saw online it's quite a lot like if it's possible to lose 10 kilo away during one week um, my answer is yes it's possible 10 kilo of way not of fat basically you can lose 10 kilo in a few days but it will be water it's dramatical difference from fat and also i saw like some guys a show as themselves as example how they lose about 10 or even more kilogram just only with the seven eight days yeah they look much better but still amount of fat comparably it is the same so basically if you're training hard you go for a run for two three hours so you do the martial arts you can lose a three kilo weight with a few hours but it will be water after you're drinking and come back everything again uh, from my fasting experience i would say three days you will not lose um, any fat at all it's only your uh, sugar in your blood some carbs uh, and water because carbs it's absorb the water so basically after three days you start to lose a bit fat and maybe let's say it's one kilogram away with the fat after three days and if you will be more active you can lose more but it's really a uh, high level of stress for your body so i suggest to avoid any uh, high stress situation because if you uh, if it's really stressful for your body after it won't come back to the normal so when eat more come back to a normal way and so on so much better my suggestion that take it easy take longer time and reduce your weight and come back uh, or get the shape you want to. so i'll show you some of the uh, so i'll show you some of the tables like how much fat you can approximately lose with a different amount of time like here for instance or how much you need to work out for burn certain amount of calories and so on so it's pretty clear you can lose maybe one two kilo of fat per week so basically it's quite a long journey so don't be so naive if you 10 years be really unhealthy eat junk food and gain extra 15 uh, kg and now you want to lose it in one month so it's supposed to be really long journey same if you eat shit food like last five years and you want to make a detox for one week and be fine no way it's everything let's say if you eat junk food for 10 years so another 10 years for being in a perfect shape you need work on it but if you do it like slow and smooth without any stress it will be much easier for your body so it will not be a big jump lose a lot or gain a lot yeah so you just keep going like check your scales okay every day you lose 500 grams and so on and so on yeah it also depends what your weight category of course if some guy like 140 kilos they can lose more weight compared to someone who only 60 kilo it's pretty obvious but still uh, common sense is not that common to everyone and also it depends from your body type because some people they are extra uh, Because some of the body types are endomorph and some of the exomorph, so it's a dramatical difference. So some people they gain weight really easily and their body produces high amount of insulin compared to other people who cannot gain any weight because they digest a really small amount from food they eat. So they can eat really really a lot, they not digest it. So they need like work out a lot and eat a lot compared to someone who needs just a little bit and work out even more. And if you, I don't know, you decide to be a fitness model or you want to be like a super fit or get ready to the competition, you work really, really hard. Hard working, uh, I think it's a good thing, but not for everyone. But still, hard working is good because if you're working hard for the last six months, let's say, or maybe one year, you will appreciate what you got. You will appreciate your level of energy. You will appreciate uh, your new shape, uh, how you look like, how you feel like, and so on. So probably you don't want to come back 
to the previous shape because you spend so much time and so much energy already so probably you will keep going for be fit and healthy again some people they have just a job to be a model so they just cannot afford for eat junk food or just uh, go and drink with the friends and after have a bulky face but hey, they might have a work today they can make a call like anytime and they're supposed to be like uh, fresh and good looking and so on so yeah about this all of the videos is possible to lose uh, like 10 kg with a really short amount of time you need to remember it's a water you can lose a lot of water still if you will be on a diet and do certain kind of activity you will lose more but fat it's take a really really long journey also without a diet and activity your chance is pretty low even if you eat some fat burners I don't think so you'll get a good result even people who take like liposix or whatever they working hard and they watch their diet so that's why they have a pretty good result so that's why they have a so low amount of fat in their body so when you watch uh, such kind of videos like I'll sell you a super cool program like five days and you'll be cool or okay like two weeks and you'll have a six pack and so on everything just a real long journey and some guy who said oh look I got it in just in one month but he probably training like years already so everything what you might see on a telly especially on telly especially when someone sell the pills sell the different kind of silly device what not really workable with professional fitness models who looks really Really, really amazing uh, so probably it might be not true because as I know many people who like professional athletes so bodybuilders fitness models they training like years training always no day off non-stop always keep watching what they eating keep the regime keep the training so basically it's how it works so if you decide to be like a really good looking in really good shape okay just start your journey slowly step by step just move forward to the goal you want that's it just make it easy and make easy exercises go and make it a little bit harder a little bit harder cut your calories little by little for not feel any stress for not feel hunger change your food slightly for not feel any kind of discomfort like you have a lack of your favorite food and so on and you will not notice like six months later or three months later oh damn i look good and so on so basically yeah it's everything what i try to uh, say about uh, fast way of losing weight of course you can fasten you can be really active but i don't think it's really healthy you can do the fasting do the meditation and really relax way for the uh, detox but with losing weight after you will come back everything from my experience when i was in hiking there is really small amount of food i lose a lot of weight and when i come back to my normal food i didn't eat anymore i gained weight like really really quickly and just body absorbed literally everything because stay in a, a high level of stress like during the month's time and after i gain like a lot of extra weight fat of course so it takes some time for come back to normal so all of these jumps I think it's not really good idea so for majority of people I suggest to make it like really smooth long journey like going step by step manage it little by little so you will feel good you will feel comfortable you will not feel you have lack of your favorite food your exercises what you're doing in cardio it doesn't seem like too hard you get a little bit harder a little bit harder a little bit harder and you notice your small progress where you follow it okay so i think it's quite enough for the discussion about a fast way of losing weight unfortunately fast way of losing weight doesn't exist only if you go and uh, shit near the police station yeah they'll make you lose 10 kilo in 24 hours i guess oh yeah you can do the fasting but again as i said not the best idea oh you can choose any way you want all right, so stay tuned and later on we'll provide you much more interesting and hopefully useful information for you.